Dr. Mindy here, and on this video, I wanna show you how to recover from your adrenal fatigue. So if you are new to my channel, welcome. I am a woman on a mission to get the world healthy and to give you hope back. You were born in a miracle. I want you to understand that miracle. So I'm teaching you the language of your body. I'm teaching you the language of hormones. And on this video, I'm gonna teach you the language of adrenal fatigue recovery and what you need to know to take your own power back. So this is a part of a series that I'm doing. Um, I've been out, you know, bringing my book to the world and I've been on a lot of interviews and what I'm hearing from a lot of people is they want specific information about different protocols. So this is the beginning of a series here that I'm doing on my channel, explaining many of the protocols that I wrote about in the back of the book and the protocols that I gave you there. So. If you're new to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button so you get these protocols. This is gold. This is information I would I was teaching my patients and using with my patients. Um, so you're getting it straight from you know the horse's mouth. Is that how we say this? From the doctor's mouth. Um, you're getting this straight from my mouth um, on what I've seen work. So hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, and let's dive in. You ready? Do a long fast one day, your blood sugar going up and down. We're in it together. Okay, adrenal fatigue recovery. Okay, there's so much to say on this, but let me start off with this really big idea. Your adrenals do not wear out. So there is actually no, adrenal fatigue is a misnomer. Like there's no real, like, it, we throw it around there as like a, a label, like, oh, I have adrenal fatigue. But really, the adre that organ, no other organs wear out and get fatigued and say, hey, I can't do my job. They either wear out and then you've got a major health problem. They actually have like a chronic disease in them. But it's not like they wear out. So let's just, you know, be clear on that. So what does throw adrenals off? And here's what I want you to know, is that there is a team. I wrote about this in the menopause reset. There's a, when we look at endocrine organs, we're really looking at them in a team picture. So the adrenal team is your hypothalamus pituitary and adrenals, and they're constantly in communication. So what that means is when there's a stressor coming into your life, the brain perceives it, and then it tells the adrenals, hey, we got to run from a tiger. There's something not right here. So your eyes are taking in the situation and it's assessing the situation is bad. The brain's interpreting it. And then the message gets sent to the adrenals. The adrenals give you cortisol, epinephrine, norepinephrine. Those neurochemicals come up and then it goes back up into the brain and says, okay, the body's on it. The body's on it. We've, we are now running from the tiger. So that is the whole loop we need to calm down as I walk you through the fasting lifestyle protocol. Plus at the end, I'll talk about, about some of the other hacks I've seen work really well. So with that in mind, then we've got to start to look at what we can do to calm the system down. And here's one of the, the challenging pieces of information that I'm gonna bring you, but I don't really wanna bring you because uh, it's a multifaceted solution. Um, which is even if I close my eyes and I'm like stressed about something in my life, I'm not perceiving a stressor from outside, my body still thinks there's a tiger to run from. So when you go to bed at night and you're like, oh my God, these horrible things happened to me during the day and oh my God, tomorrow I got to do all these stressful things. You are literally wearing your adrenals out while you're going to sleep because the brain's like, hey, we gotta, we gotta look at, keep making that cortisol come because I'm not sure that it's safe for us to sleep right now. We may need to get up and run. So then you need more, more supplements, more medications to be able to sleep to calm that down. So there is with adrenals, this big mindfulness to, tool, that is not the point of this video, but I want you to know that if this is a chronic issue for you. Okay, with that in mind, when we look at a fasting lifestyle protocol, I wrote about one in the book, so it's there for you. Um, to, to map out, I will put a version of the adrenal fatigue protocol here in the notes. Um, and, and I encourage you to read the book because there's so much nuance in there. But here are the fasting principles we're going to look at. For starters, hypothalamus pituitary, we need to clean this area up. Sometimes if you have a lot of heavy metals in there, you have a lot of glyphosate, pesticides, a lot of toxins in there, the brain is like, I'm under stress, I'm under stress, I'm under stress. It's under stress from a toxic reason. And so it's constantly sending messages to the adrenal because of the toxic stressors that have gone up. 
The other reason why we want to use fasting to stimulate this part of the brain is that it might be got toxins in the part of the brain that is interrupting the communication from the adrenals. So maybe the adrenals are like, hey, we're making cortisol. Here it comes. You, you told us to make cortisol. And the, and the hypothalamus and pituitary are like, well, we can't, we're not really, they can't hear the messages from the adrenal. And so they keep m telling the adrenals, make more cortisol, make more cortisol. And your adrenals are like, we're making it. Can we stop making it now? But the hypothalamus pituitary is not able to hear that message because it's packed with toxins. The, the worst toxin for that area is glyphosate. The second worst toxin is heavy metals. So if you haven't checked your heavy metals, go to my website, check your heavy metals. So super important to, to run a heavy metal test if you feel like that's you. So when we look at the brain, what we need to see is that autophagy fasting, stimulating autophagy is really, really important for making sure we clean that part of the brain out. So I spoke about, if you don't know what autophagy fasting is, you're new to my channel, so much information on autophagy um, throughout these videos, but also throughout this book. So make sure you get the book. And, and men buy the book too, by the way, there's great information in here for men. So we need to clean that area. The second thing we know is that we need to calm down this cortisol response. So for my women who are listening, it's really important that you're fasting like a girl. When you're knowing that when progesterone comes in, you need to, to not be fasting, you need to raise your glucose. So that's a really good, that's, that's awesome. Um, so we wanna make sure we're going in and out of fast when progesterone's on the scene. That's at ovulation and that's the week before your period. Wrote all about that in the book. But men, what I want you to know is that you still need more, if you have adrenal fatigue and you wanna recover from it, you still need more, you need to vary your fast more because you're gonna go in and clean up the brain with autophagy and then you're gonna calm cortisol down. We have to remember that fasting like exercise has this hormetic stressor to it and there is a little bit of a cortisol boost. So we wanna make sure that we're varying in and out. The other thing that I have found with, with fasting and people who are recovering from adrenal fatigue is that you have to kind of back your way into a fasting lifestyle. And that's what I really map out for you in the protocol section of Fast Like a Girl, is that it's a gentle process in, where somebody might be able to get like intermittent fasting down in 13 hours, or for 13 hours and get that down in a week. The adrenal fatigued person may need to take a month to just master intermittent fasting and slowly move the breakfast back 15 minutes, next day maybe another 20 minutes, next day maybe a half hour. Be gentle because we don't wanna create this huge cortisol spike. Your poor adrenals are already like done. They've already been making enough cortisol. So we wanna kinda of tiptoe in to our fasting lifestyle. Last thing that I will say that I think is really important on the fasting lifestyle, and then I wanna to get to some other add-ons that we'll talk about here in a moment is that, but on the fasting issue, I wanna make sure that you understand the most important thing for adrenals is that your blood sugar is stable. So if your blood sugar is doing this, it's going up and down and up and down all the time, it's like you're, you're, that's a signal to the body that you're in a crisis. So when we look at the macronutrients that we can use to stabilize your blood sugar, fat and protein are the best. Carbohydrates are not. They're gonna be a quick source of energy, even the clean ones then all of a sudden you'll see a dip. But with protein and fat, we're gonna see this really big, um, or this, this real stabilization of your blood sugar so that we can get your adrenals to stop reacting to the spikes and the dips. So lots of protein, lots of fat. I, again, wrote all about that in the books so we can stabilize the blood sugar. Another really interesting hack is make sure you get a continuous glucose monitor like Nutrisense is the one we love. Um, and we'll leave a link in the notes here for you. But that, I, I mean, I just launched this book into the world. That was a lot of work. I've been on interview after interview. You might hear it in my voice. Um, and I love sharing this book with the world, but my adrenals are a little fried right now. I just put a, a, a CGM on and I'm shocked at my blood sugar. And my blood sugar is normally stable. It is like up, down, and all around. And I haven't changed anything I've been eating. Um, but what I realize is it, it's the stress. So it's a good measurement to kind of see how you can start to calm your adrenals down and what tools will work for your stress. So like I noticed this week, it was really interesting 
that as I started to work out a lot more, as I started to come back to after the holidays to prioritize uh, sleep, I'm seeing that up and down of my blood sugar change dramatically. So this is the CGM. I, I have one on the back of my arm right now. Um, it's a continuous glucose monitor. It works incredible for a self-reflection on what you need to work on. So know that that's available for you as well. Now, last thing that I want to talk about is one of the interesting things around adrenals that is rarely talked about is one of the, one of the things that I use in my life to tell me outside of my blood sugar that it's time to work on my adrenals is when I go from seated to standing and I get dizzy. If that's you, that is classic adrenal fatigue. Follow the principles I just laid out here for you. The second thing I want to say is that we have to remember the, the principles of what we call the polyvagal theory. The polyvagal theory is that you are supposed to dip in and out of stress. You're not supposed to be in constant stress all the time. But if we can stay in stress too long, we move into free, a freeze state. And how you would know you're in a freeze state is when you are like numb and you can't respond to stress anymore. You are using food, alcohol, maybe other drugs, other addictions to soothe yourself, and you're just checked out. That is a free state, and you're gonna want, outside of what I just gave you, you're gonna wanna pull in some mindfulness tools. Breathing, walking is an incredible way to calm the nervous system down. Go to your chiropractor and get adjusted. That balances the nervous system. Acupuncture is great for balancing the nervous system. So if you feel like you're just not reacting to stress, don't go into this fasting protocol I just gave you with all this, you know, more efforting. You, you want to bring in some of those other tools to help you on this journey. So as always, I really hope that helps. And if you're new to fasting and you want to know more about how you kind of slowly get yourself into fasting, I have an incredible free video course called Beginner's Fast. All you've got to do is put beginners fast in your comments and my team will send you that link and it's a video series I've done. It's free to you so that you can learn how to fast. So this is a dense video. So if you have to go back and watch it, but I, but it, you know, recovering from adrenal fatigue is not as simple as take this supplement or do this diet change or do this one fast. There's a lot to it. It's called a multi-therapeutic approach, which is why I wanted to bring this to you. So, and as always, I love hearing your stories. If you want to put your story of how these principles have helped you, please, everybody loves seeing them. I love seeing them. But most of all, do not give up on yourself. When you're given a diagnosis like adrenal fatigue, you can recover from it. You just got to bring in all many of the principles that I just talked about. If you get lost anywhere along the way, you know, as always, reach out to our, our health coach page. You can find that at my, on my website or come into our academy where I'm leading people through how to self-heal and how to give them hope back. That's what we're doing over in my academy. So as always, I hope that helps. Okay, if you've made it this far in the video, it's a sign. You definitely need to subscribe. And if you want to learn more, if you love that video and you want to dive into more of the information I have on this channel, go to this video.